name Valeria. I'm your working guide and welcome to Otranto. Nowadays, Otranto is a small village with 5,000 people, inhabitants, and this is a touristic place. We can just climb some steps and uh, uh, arrive on top of the old city center. This small village was fortified just because in 4080 we were attacked by the Ottoman Empire and so Charles V decided to fortify all this town. We are in front of this wonderful castle. It was built by Charles V and it was destroyed so many times. When you uh, can see this round shapes tower you can imagine that they were built by the Spanish when you see some angle corner um, tower you can imagine that they were French The most important treasure of this church, it was built in the early Middle Ages and it was destroyed so many times. The bell tower is uh, very, very untypical because it is not a, a directly attached on the body of the church. Under our feet, we have the most big mosaic, floor mosaic of all Europe. It was built in just two years, 1163-1165. Here we are, uh, uh, just in front of the chapel devoted to the martyrs of Otranto. So in 1480s, 800 people were killed just for religious purpose. We are in the south of Italy. Here people are very simple and still today we make, for example, pasta in a simple way, just with flour and water. These are maccheroni of Italy and also orecchiette pasta. A look to this wonderful iron balcony. This uh, remind us to the Spanish domain because the art to work with iron came from the Spanish. Now we have a taste of this wonderful gelato. All these flavor are artisanal and organic. You must taste it. They are wonderful. Wonderful and welcome to Italy, welcome to Otranto.
the yellow balls are orange juice with in gel. How many Michelin restaurants is in Otranto? Just one. <laughs> this is a seafood risotto without octopus. It's wow. a sea bass, real sea bass with baked potatoes yeah. and salad. <laughs> Okay, so